Hi everybody, welcome back to Sid's Modern Life, Season 2, Episode 143, with me, Sid. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of saying that deliberately, slowly, and reading it. Um, and I just realised that I'm not in my round, local, usual place, which means I'm not... Oh dear, okay. So that's the one I'm recording. Alright, done a quick count. It's 26 is the length I want, so 26 long. I have... That should give me three blocks at the end, which should be more than enough. And I have also cast some more rail beds and yada yada. And bang. That's our first line. And then we are going to be going. Uh, I don't know how deep to make this. Uh, I need a train, don't I? That will be handy. Let's go and borrow a train. Now the this is not the biggest train that we have, but it is pretty large. So this will give us a good idea of the kind of scale that we need to build the engine shed. So you know, and we are going to need some other few other materials. But let's pop that down. That's uh, so if I were to come out to about say here on either side that wouldn't be a million miles from the scale would it um, now I think if I go here it will actually go through that space do I want therefore to make this one narrower it would make sense it would, would look better and then one one two three one space one two three one one two three one one two and that would allow us then to bring a straight track into here and then curve from here which might be tricky but you know we can give it a try can't we and we go one one two three one one two three one one two three one one two big enough I think so um, yeah and I'm I will be honest I honestly do not know how much if any we will actually use this mod because it takes nearly three bloody days to heat the damn thing up to move it's uh, there are configuration options don't get me wrong I could tweak it um, the the heating time is in quotes realistic um, so re may read into that what you will really but um, yeah so first things first we are going to want to come let me get a new one and we're going to come I think we'll come from here this will be the straight point so one two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So we'll make them nineteen long at this point from the outside. That is the same length, so we should be good to make that one down. And similarly, 19 and bang. And 19 and bang. And 19. And destroy a few blocks. We know we're going to have to dig some out. This, the, the, There is going to be some element of building work going on here. And I don't think there's any avoiding that. So that's fine and then what we can do is we are going to go hang on we need the spike i forgot my spike uh let me go and grab that and we'll should be you should be good i hope and then we maybe depending on how we go this episode i may actually make another locomotive um just so we can you know go that way so from 
let's oh, I don't know how best now that will so if I go like this and say I would like you to be a custom curve um, doesn't matter we'll join you on there and then we shall take our track we shall go and we shall place you to here that works and then again we'll go from here and we shall place you to here missing rail segments okay that's fine we can we can sort that um, that's just a little bit of uh, steel so I'll go and make those get those ones in as well um, I don't know should I bring in another one I mean we got the space I think we should you know because we could yeah I think we should and that brings us neatly over to there okay let me pull myself together get myself some more rail segments get my myself pulled and sorted and uh, I shall be back in a second all right um, we got the tracks in we have got the vague outline of what we're going to be doing in and we are going to start off by let's take it down actually by half so it it does really help a lot and um actually no 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 let's take this down one two three four and we're going to go and grab some limestone which i'm sure we've got plenty of but you know i brought plenty with me and we are going to take a little bit of that and up up and then we'll go back to plane we'll go one two and then we shall grab some of this and we shall go again connected plane connected texture bang two and again this is it's a fairly common I, I use this kind of this kind of building a lot so don't be surprised you're going to see a lot of modern or I won't naturally modern is the wrong word um Probably Victorian would be a closer or um, Edwardian, um, Georgian industrial style going on here. Uh, I don't know whether I like that there or not. We may trim it back yet, but that's fine. We're, we're good at this. And then we're going to pop on the top there and we are going to use you to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we'll take a, let's have a look, connected texture, maybe. Uh, I don't want it there, that's the point. Can I? Take that out of that side there, like that. And then maybe put a connected plane in like that. That works. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to take you. We're going to take you across here and put you in each one of these. I mean, it's detail, but sometimes getting the detail early on is not a bad thing. Uh, and then we're going to grab it, that. And with the bed look, we've got a reasonable amount of this dash stock pile, so we'll do a placement and we'll come back here and we shall do a hmm actually I'm never sure what the best way of doing all of this kind of thing is you know whether you there's probably a million one different ways of actually getting the effect you're looking for but you know I'll take I'll take the one I know that works and we'll we'll go with it and uh, 
yeah, that's a, a start. And then we can go and grab... Well, let's try and get one. And In fact, I'm going to work, I think, on this one. So we'll go one, two, one, two. That will come out and be a... One, one, two, three, four, da, 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 da. same again, oops. And then we can do a little bit of placement magic, I suppose, for the, uh, for the remains of that. Now, I actually only want that to be six high one two three four five six and then I want to start bringing this in like a so Mm, maybe one more. I'm just I'm landing because I'm I'm conscious that I am using uh, the less efficient flight that we have, but probably probably fairer. Okay, from there we can get a little bit fancy. Hmm, how? But how fancy? So we just do that and have done with or well, what that flies not helping me concentrate um, because we're going to have a slate roof like that we're going to have uh, smoke vents and everything in the roof that's all going to be things going to be windows at the back windows at the side yada yada it's all going to be very nice um, but right now we need to be thinking about getting that down. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether I want to do uh, some keystone detailing on that. I'm really, really torn. Um, I have got one plan which might work. So let me just have a fiddle with that and I'll be back in a moment. All right. Um, I've got the basics in. Uh, I tried. I tried doing some little work around the edge. I really didn't like it, so I I kind of abandoned it. It didn't work. Um, in terms of the roof, now, hopefully, uh, yeah, we got a goodly amount of this. So, and we are going to want a goodly amount of this because this is. This is a big roof, um, but we'll get the basics in again. Slate roof. And we are going to want to grab several blocks of this. Now we should have, I believe, enough, in, enough space in here to hold most of this. Uh, however, I am going to hang on. Let's swap out. I am going to be popping that out of the way. Keep hold of that, and we are going to want some of that. And that fly is annoying, but there we go. So we'll use this as our middle ground, and we are going to come in with a solid roof that extends out maybe this far it doesn't really matter exactly how far it extends out it's basically going to come out over an overhang here um going to go all the way back over there obviously and we're going to repeat it another six times on either side um and there's some work to be done along the ridge here. Uh, and obviously there's also going to be um, some work to be done along the the edge of the roof here. Um, let me just get this in. 
hopefully this oops this will look okay uh, and then we're going to take some of you and we are going to go for a flatulent fly no we are going to go for two out from the front I think two's two's a good number Du -du 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 oh, and we're out of limestone. Not a problem. That is easily remedied. Like a so. Uh, a belt. We also want to bring this up. Uh, now that one won't be coming out, but this one will. And then that will come out, and that will, yeah. Um, and hopefully it'll just give that a little bit of detail again. Just the devil is in the detail. So let me... Uh, just get this done. Shouldn't take too long. Oops. As long as I don't cock up. Did I start with that being one? No, I did go with two all the way around, didn't I? Oh, uh, and night time is upon us again. This is the only problem working in the open like this. The night times come around altogether too quick. And uh, there isn't a mob there, by the way. It's probably subterranean. Um, but we'll get you this done and uh, let's say doesn't take too long and we'll go and have a look at that yeah looks all right uh, so I've got to pull that across all the way to the other side I will try and get that bit built in and bring the roof across and uh, again I shall be back with you in a mo all right um, about done with the chisels and bits for the time being which means we can put that away this structurally is about as far as I'm going to take this today um, that doesn't mean this is as far as I'm going to take it it just means this is as far as I'm going to take it today we're going to have a little Break, but I'll show you as soon as um, as soon as this is done. Oh, there was why well, was one thing I wanted to do actually on the roof, but we'll um, we'll we'll go up on the roof and have a quick, quickly sleep the night off. So, of course, we can't because even though it's a spawnable block, it is actually chisel some bits. Uh, it looks like a bit of an octopus actually there. That that turntable from the mini map as you look kind of over, over this direction. If you look at the mini map, they look like a, little octopus spreading its tentacles into something I don't know uh, I see things I can't help it um yeah we do need the uh, that back um, for that we're going to use you and you and both of those I've nearly used an entire chisel with a uh, unbreaking three on it so it gives you an idea of how much uh, damage we've done so we got the front that's all done uh, the sides are relatively simple. We've got some little windows at the top. The back is also similar, but we've got just a big arch window at the back of each of these. Uh, merging into the rock here, we've got a little something going on here, which we're going to have detail. And then the roof itself is fine, with the exception that that block there is actually spawnable, uh, as best as I can tell. So what I thought we could do would be now uh, let's see what I do and I've got to make sure I'm on the right thing da, 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 da. do another one no undo one two three four one two three four uh, and then we take you and paste it down it just gives it a little bit of a gutter and in theory should make it unspawnable I'll just wreck something there 
I did. I thought so. Okay. Undo that. So that's a very quick change I'll just make um, down these. Um, and then we're going to go, and I think we're going to have a bash at making another train, because obviously I've got space for seven locos, so, you know, it would be wrong not to use it, wouldn't it? Um, and I think I might try and make a diesel. So, because we've got diesel in bucket loads of diesel, and uh, interested to know whether it will work on gasoline as well. I've got loads of that. About the only thing in immersive um, petroleum that gasoline works on is the motorboat, which is not ideal. So let me just get this bit done and I shall be right back with you. All right, we have got a stack of steel blocks. If that ain't enough, I don't know what will be. Um, and we are heading over to the train yard where we are going to start making the bits for a diesel locomotive and if we turn you back on and we'll throw that in yeah that's almost full uh, we're going to go four let's have a look what do we fancy uh, electromotive division yeah, I have no idea whether that's a good one uh, that's a little baby well I say it's a little baby one um, 3,000 horsepower, 4,000 horsepower, these are big boys aren't they, let's just go here I think, so we need to make, presumably we need to make the frame, never made one of these before, so uh, it's going to take a while. So once we've done the frame, then we're going to have the bogies to do the wheels uh, and all of the other bits and pieces. That should be entertaining. Let's see what we need to do with this, because we've got all these machines, and I've only really used this one and that one in any kind of anger. So, wow, slow. <laughs> uh, incidentally, I don't know whether you noticed this one, but there is actually a casting animation. And there we go. We have a frame which we shall place down on our track. I presume we will anyway. Come on. There we go. Frame. Wow. It's uh, actually quite surprisingly long. And for this, whoops, we need, hang on. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it. Let's try that again. I think we probably need the spanner, maybe. Maybe the spanner. Spanner would be the um im, <laughs> the mahusive spanner. You can't go wrong with the mahusive spanner. It needs four bogey wheels and two bogies from casting. Okay. Let's have a look then. Two bogies. There's one and four bogey wheels. And then we're into the stuff. Okay, so let's just do repeat casting. One, two, three, single cast. I made one too many. Uh, I think you can probably, let's just see what happens. No, it went back in, okay. Yeah, it looks like you can do that. So let's have a look then. Bogey, 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 wheel, bogey wheel, bogey wheel, bogey wheel so now we need a fuel tank two medium plates 
Okay. Hmm. So if I want medium plates, what do I need? A can't remember now. What do I have to do with medium plates? Oh man, this is what happens when you actually pause for a second and forget how to do things. Uh, rail casting. Uh, I actually genuinely can't remember what you do for plates. What do you stick in plates then? Gauge standard, medium plate. Rail? I mean, that would be the only. So let me just double check that. I'll be back in a second. We're going to have to sleep anyway because night's coming on. So back in a moment. Steel blocks is what the plate machine processes. I can't remember whether I left that on or not. Are you on? Four medium steel plates. Now, what did we need? Two, wasn't it? Uh... Um, uh, we need oh it's actually taken them okay uh, so we need um, we need nine large plates okay pop those over there and head over back over here Set you to large plate, and I presume you get two per block. So I'm going to go to be ten, I think. Ow! That was a bit of a. Or is it two per? Actually, looks like maybe. Hang on. No one per box of it then. Three, four. So that's as many as I need. And uh, shame that one doesn't have the animation that that one has. But there you go. What can you do, eh? <laughs> and finally, with a little bit of luck. We can get back onto casting stuff. Bang, bang, bang. And. And we should be able to then come over here and go. Hang on. What do I need? Oh, that was. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah, okay, he's taking them all. Uh, right, what's left? Uh, engine block and alternator. Okay. I think you are on, so we'll go back into you. That is the one I'm making, isn't it? Yes. Make an engine block. And we shall make uh, a alternator. Very cheap. And then we should be good to go and place that and that. And it's complete. So we've got a great big diesel. Uh, oops, help, helps if you don't press the wrong button. Uh, huh. Choo choo. Uh, let's have a. Needs diesel and it have to warm it up and you have to turn the engine on. Uh, but it obviously needs fuel first. Let us go and get some buckets of diesel then. Um, let's go and have a look. She should have plenty. In fact, I think I'm going to get a... a uh, uh, was it a quantum tank we did? I think it was, wasn't it? 
for the water. I'm going to see if that works the same. Tank. It's got fuel. Was it a quantum or was it a black hole? I think it was a black hole tank, wasn't it? We wanted. Uh, and we need diesel. Hmm. How do I? How do I handle that? Oops. That's outputting oil. That outputs diesel into that. Okay, we're going to borrow you. Uh, and we'll pop you down there. And then we shall place you on there. And we shall... That should only be about... 16 buckets worth. That is an exporter, so that's excellent. Oops, hang on. Let me pop that there, and I'd like to get this to about 40 buckets, something like that. 50, 60 buckets. Let's just take it a reasonable, although put a decent amount in. Hmm. Okay, that should be enough, I think. And we can pop you back where you belong. There. Excellent. Right, let's go and try this train out, shall we? And see whether I can actually drive that any better than uh, I did the steam one. Because <laughs> I was terrible at that. Um, now, the steam one took a long time to warm up. And I am contemplating changing the parameters on that just to um, just to make it so we can do it so there you go you've got 30 buckets of fuel in there we've got plenty left um, I think I'm just trying to remember what, what key I set to turn on there we go it's on you have to wait for the temperature to get up so that's a thing. Um, needs to be, I think, a, it's basically a diesel, and diesel doesn't function well in low temperatures. So, yeah. But we have got that going, and we can zero. It's obviously, not getting anywhere with that yet. And is the brake? Okay, I'll be back once we're up to temperature. See you in a moment. All right, we're off um, slowly. It's uh, unfortunately it is night time. So, but if I put the brake on, okay. So brake up, brake down, throttle up. Throttle down. We're coming in fast on that, and we'll buy the brake, and then we'll get out. We shall change my per viewpoint because I don't really want to get attacked by that zombie. Uh, quickly sleep the night off if we can before getting et. And then we're going to try and park this diesel engine where in in its um thing in its place. Eliminate any threats. One over there, I see you. He's miles away, he's never gonna... I think he's despawned now as well. Okay, so first things first, we need to bring the... the turntable round.
this will be an interesting one if we ever succeed. If we successfully manage to uh, to run this, let's try and get a view, and then we're just going to zero the brake. Just a little bit of throttle. Chuff, 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 chuff. Woohoo. Right, hang on. F1. F2. F1. There's my screenshot for the day. And zero the throttle. And get ready to apply the brakes once we're onto the turntable. Okay, get out. Change my viewpoint because that's the thing. Um, I think we'll try and get him into this one here. So and we'll do him. We'll try to do this backwards. We haven't obviously built any buffers or anything in there yet, but uh, right. So if we now go and decru zero the brake. And ready on the thing, and about now, turn the engine off. Uh, hey, we did it, we parked. Uh, let me change my viewpoint again and get out. Um, we can go and have a look. We now have two engines in our engine shed. The engine shed is working. Um, the diesel is actually a much better one for warming up, so you don't feel like you're quite so um, stuffed. However, we will continue. Now, let me know what you think about changing the configs on the Steam, because I, I do think it takes far too long for the Steam to, well, get up to Steam, for want of a better phrase. Um, hello. Bye-bye. Yeah, so, you know, what we don't want is um, that kind of situation where I have to sit there and wait for hours and hours. Um, but we're starting to get there. We'll get off of, maybe off of some of these. We'll run some sidings down, maybe like that. Um, I did say we're going to build a factory over this side, so that's the thing we'll do. Um, and maybe have a, a branch line to that. Yeah, there's, there's plenty we can be on with, and uh, I'm going to get that on. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but until next time, oh, and we'll obviously get this detailed and finished up and get the ground, because it looks a little bit grassy and clean. Um, but we're getting there. Needs windows, needs interior, needs buffers, needs all the stuff. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.